Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to Nerdy Couch. Please like and subscribe. It would help me out. Tell your friends. Get them watching these videos too. I would really appreciate it. Today I have another Fan Expo video. It is my Fan Expo haul. Now I know that Fan Expo was a couple weeks ago, and uh, but I've just been busy and I've been really, really waiting to get this video done and out so that you guys can see what I picked up. So let's get started real quick. First I'm going to start with some Funko Pops. A um, couple of these I got for my girlfriend, a couple of them I got for myself, and I got them on about the last day of Fan Expo, which is the Sunday, and they were cheap. I picked these up for $3 a pop, uh, pun intended. Let's see what I got. First one, I've got Bunny from Toy Story 4, and that is number 532. And show you quickly what the rest of that set looks like. Now this is the only one we have in this set. We have not seen this movie yet. So there it is. Next, I've got Wreck-It Ralph Breaks the Internet. Uh, we've got Yes. And I think that's cool pop. We've both seen this movie, me and my girlfriend, and uh, we're really big fans of the Wreck-It Ralph series. So those are the rest of them. She's got a couple other Wreck-It Ralph pops, so this will go really nice with those. Next, what I picked up for her is a Modern Family, and that is uh, Mitch. Uh, she's a really big fan of the Modern Family series, so, you know, it was an easy pickup for me. And for $3, I will pick up nearly any pop for $3. So those ones are the ones that I got for my girlfriend Monica, and she loves them, so that's awesome. The next set of pops... I got specifically for myself, and again, these were only $3 at Fan Expo. First one being Lando Calrissian. I always mess his name up. And I'm a big Star Wars fan, so that was an easy pickup for me. Take a look at the rest of the series right there. Hope you can see that. Next one would be, have them all mixed up here. I've got a Range Trooper from the same set, I believe. That one's really cool, I like that. Um, I will continue to try and get these ones because I'm a big Star Wars fan. Love that poster. Next we have a Fallout figure. Now I'm a big fan of the Fallout series. A lot of my friends are. What a great game um, series. This is Fallout Vault Dweller Mail. Uh, and Three dollars, big name, good pop. Any day, any day of the week, I'll pick that up. And next we have the Fallout from the same series, Vault Dweller Female. And again, cool pop for three bucks. And last but not least, this is probably one of my favorite ones. This is from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, it is probably one of my favorite uh, animated series. So I am happy to pick up Bulma from the Dragon Ball Z series. That's an awesome figure. And what a great deal for three bucks. Take a look at the rest of that series there. I don't have a lot of these pops, but I will definitely, definitely get the rest soon enough. Another quick look at those pops before I put them away and get onto some comic books, which I am really, really excited to show you guys. All right. So the first few books that I'm going to show you guys today I already owned, but I took them along with me to Fan Expo to get some signatures, and the first one being Moon Knight, the director's cut, number one, um, and I've got David Finch's signature right here. Now I really like where he put the signature right on the moon there, it looks really good there, and I was glad to meet David Finch, uh, he was a cool guy, I didn't get to spend too much time with him because it was a busy lineup, but fantastic getting this signed. Like I said in my previous video, I have this is my first time really getting signatures anywhere in my life, so I'm really happy to pick that up. Put that right on there. Second one, now this is a long life dream of mine to meet this person. Um, one of my favorite artists 
ever. Does one of my favorite series ever. Um, works for created, works for and created Image Comics. It's Todd McFarlane, and what I did is I got my Spawn number one signed by him. Um, it looks really good in the gold right up here, and Todd was amazing. Now again, Todd was very busy and didn't have a lot of time to spend with fans but uh, the time I did spend with him he was really nice and you know answered a few quick questions um, and I was just super 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 honored to meet him and uh, get my book signed because this is one of my favorite books that I own so again Todd thank you very much for being there for your fans now he was giving his signature away for free at the con which I think is awesome because there's not a whole lot of people who are signing things for free nowadays. Everybody's capitalizing on that. So thank you, Todd, for just uh, being a great guy and uh, for creating some of the content that I grew up with and love to this day. Okay, guys, next I've got some books that I really, really, really am happy to pick up. Now, when I was at Fan Expo, one of my things that I wanted to do is add value to my comic book collection and I think I've done that with these books I specifically was looking for um, a handful of books that were key issues and that would really really add value to my collection so the first one being I got these mixed up folks I don't want to show that one next I want to show that one last so the first book I got was New Mutants 87. Now this, as we might know, or as you might know, is the first appearance of Cable, and it is a key book and part of the New Mutants run that I am trying to complete. And so this book, I'm really happy to have. Now these books I got at a fair price. Oh, I'm going to knock them down. These books I got at a fair price, and they're not no dollar bin books, but... I managed to, what I feel, get them at a fair price. I uh, managed to knock this guy down quite a bit because he had it marked at a 9.6. And I wasn't sure that I agreed with that. So uh, I pointed out some uh, defects in the book and managed to get him down quite a bit. Uh, I would say it's probably roughly a 9.4 at best. Um, now again, I'm not a really great comic book grader. Maybe it is a 96. Uh, I'm not sure, but regardless, I got it for a great price. So, anyway, next we have a book that I'm very happy to add to my collection, which is The Mighty Thor 337. Now, this is the Canadian price variant. Um, now, some people have told me that makes it a little more rare, a little harder to get. I'm not sure. If that's true, go ahead and say. Yes, in the comics, comics, in the comments, and let me know whether that actually affects the value, the rarity, and stuff like that. Anyways, this book is a key book because it is the first appearance of Beta Ray Bill. Now, hopefully we'll be seeing Beta Ray in the MCU very soon. I know they intended to, but uh, I'm excited to see this character, and I thought I'd pick it up while I got the chance. And again... I feel like I got a fair price for that book um, under the market value for it, so I'm happy about that. Now, the last book that I have to show you guys, I'm extremely excited to add to my collection. It's a book that I've been wanting for a long time, and it is Secret Wars number eight. Um, this book I've been wanting to add to my collection for a long time, never thought I could. Um, I feel like these three books are really adding some value to my collection, and these are the books I'm going to be striving to aim for books of these qualities in the future. Um, this book here is the first appearance, and it says the origin of the black suit that Spider-Man's wearing right here, which is the symbiote that Venom eventually becomes, or that eventually becomes Venom. Um, now, I read this comic very recently, and... It's only at the end of the book that this really happens. Um, the majority of the book is is about essentially a battle that's going on, and this doesn't happen until right near the end of the book. So I'd be 
excited to see the next issue and get the next issue and read more about that origin because there's not a whole lot of it in this book although this is the key book to have for this appearance guys i hope you like this video i'm really excited to be adding this value to my collection and like i said i am going to keep trying to add value of this sort to my collection and you guys will see that in the upcoming videos hopefully so take care guys, like I said, like and subscribe, tell your friends, and have a wonderful day. Bye bye now. Pssh.